So why is producer composer Tan Han Jin back in his hometown Singapore? Is he producing an upcoming Singaporean star? Well, sort of. He's back to promote his album. Han Jin decided to step out from behind the mixing console and into the limelight to release his debut album. And instead of following his canto pop and hip hop background, he stepped up to the mic for a jazz album. Han Jin is gearing up for his performance at the Esplanade and he tells us what the audience can expect. They can expect to be there on the 27th of November <laughs> at 9.30 p.m. The detail is just right <laughs> under his face right now. Can you, Boom. Can you read these um, these things here? Yeah, yeah, 27th of November. Yeah, Esplanade Recital Studio. Yeah, um, we're going to do um, um, a new take on, on the CD because the CD was done in, a, in the form of Oscar Peterson Trio or Nat King Cole Trio type of arrangement without drums. Yeah. Um, but this show will be done with three local players, Aya, on piano, um, Tony on bass, and Tambungi on drums. And Bungi is my, coincidentally, my uh, university schoolmate. We had a band called, I, I'm embarrassed to say the name, it's called Bunch of Nerds. You know, we played Red Hot Chili Pepper songs, U2 songs, Queen songs. And uh, we, we would play this band contest and we'd win like, the prizes were like, you know, maybe a $500 prize or a $1,000 prize and they give you a bottle of some, some uh, uh, whiskey or something. Yeah, yeah. So that that was it for us, you know, like, well, yeah, just to get the whiskey and to get the, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hanjin's album Raw Jazz consists of 11 jazz standards, all recorded in one take, which was released to rave reviews, even by our local media. But with his hip-hop and R&B background, why did he attempt jazz and not become Asia's answer to Timberland? You know, if I was Timberland, I wouldn't bother saying, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, jazz was, jazz was always the, 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 the scary domain, you know, the, the Never Never Land. It's like the fretless bass? Yeah. Like the fretless six-string bass. <laughs> That's right, six-string bass. Yeah. Um, uh, so I, I never go there because I'm always too afraid of it. Um, but one day at work, I got really a uh, bad, long studio day, not good studio day. So I, wa- I went to this jazz club in Hong Kong and I um, jammed with the piano player and the band there. His name is Jason. And I remember it was three songs and it felt really good. And I went outside for a little break and then and he came out and talked to me. I just felt really good about it. So I asked him if he wanted to do a CD. He said, yeah. With so many jazz songs to choose from, how did Hanjin narrow it down to the 11 on his album? The, the songs were mostly, like, maybe 8 out of 11 were songs that I, um, I, I already knew of or had heard before, you know, growing up playing in the pubs. Because, you know, in the pubs, musicians hang out and they talk about two things in general. One is women and the other is jazz. And so if, you know, I had to know a little bit of jazz or, you know, I had to only talk about women, then I'll be, I'll sound really lecherous. So, um... So that was where the jazz thing came from. You, you don't you don't just pick up jazz singing on the spot. You gotta have to sort of like uh, uh, be exposed to the music to, mm. to know the way they sing jazz. The but delivery, some the flow. there are some jazz singers that I particularly like all 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 along, like Ella Fitzgerald, mm-hmm. Sarah Vaughan, Kurt Elling. Um, Frank Sinatra. Um, this is the back of your head, like you. you used no, to it, but right? I'm not a fan. I've never been a fan because okay. I've always been afraid of it. But um, so coming into this, I am coming into it as a as a beginner, and and I have to admit my vocabulary is not really hot. So like maybe, um, maybe if I do it again, I, I hope it'll be better. Uh, would you consider writing original songs? My, or? my band's been egging me to do that. Yeah, why not? Oh, scary to hell. Maybe that's the next scary thing I'll do. Writing a jazz song. Writing a jazz CD. What was stopping you though? Scary man. When's the next jazz album coming out? Twenty eleven or in of twenty ten? I'm guessing 2011, but who knows these things. But I promise you, I will write. I will. I will try to write for this jazz CD. What would What would the second album be called? Just I mean, just for oh, fun. Raw meat. <laughs> ah, raw junk. Well, even if it's called raw junk, we're pretty sure it's going to sound good. Next up, Hanjin reveals which Hong Kong actress left him starstruck. Oh, 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 oh. 